In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Logical Prime Ring Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, it really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Logical Prime Ring Notebook by Nakabayashi, and they are available in four sizes, A4, B5, A5 as I have here, and an A7, which I believe is uh, top bound. Now they offer several different page styles, including a seven millimeter and a six millimeter ruled, a blank version, and a dot grid version like I have here. The A5 size costs eight to nine dollars depending on where you get it from. So we have a nice paper cover here with this brown kind of matte finish and logical prime and gold foil here and it says special edition notebook. We also have a twin ring binding where there's six up top and six at bottom and they are kind of a, a brass color. The color of the notebook varies depending on the page style you get. I believe the blank is white and there's maybe a green and a blue ruled one. Now you get 100 pages or 50 sheets of a unspecified paper, although they do say it is Japanese. It's a very smooth paper. Also on the inside of the cover we have a gray sheet which is kind of glued down onto the, the cover there. Uh, just gives it a nice contrast. Now here we have the dot grid and it's a green color. The printing on this is kind of interesting. It looks a little bit I don't know, blurry or not that crisp. So I'm curious what printing method they used. It's a little bit strange. And if you'll notice, the dot grid is very wide. It's a 10 millimeter dot grid. If There's a lot of interesting little details in this thing. There's some like ruling kind of marks here. And then if you'll notice, there's like a plus and a heavier dot. It's a bit strange. And then at the top we have a date, contents, and a place for the, the number, I don't know, page number. And I believe all of the page styles except for the blank have this up at the top of their, their pages. Now the corners are kind of rounded a little bit so that'll protect them from getting bumped, which is great. On the back we have a sticker, which I haven't tried to remove, but well, I guess let's try to do it now. I would be worried about it. I think that's probably going to stay on there. It's going to be hard to remove that cleanly, unfortunately. It's made in Japan. They call this a W ring type. I'm not really sure what that means specifically, but it is a ring binding, 50 sheets. None of the pages are perforated, and they're all exactly the same. The paper is pretty smooth. I have enjoyed writing on it. Now if we go to the paper test, okay, so we can see the face of this looks pretty good. Nothing really jumping out to me as being feathering. Everything looks really pretty clean with maybe the exception of the six millimeter pilot. Here we're seeing maybe just a touch of feathering, not terrible. And then if we go to the back, we can see that the six millimeter pilot did bleed through. The three millimeter pilot parallel is coming through maybe a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but not the best performance either. The rest of the fountain pens here all look really good. And then when we start getting into the roller balls, like pilot high tech point V10, which is usually a difficult pen, that one definitely bled through. The Otto Fude ball bled through. The, let's see, Pentel Energel came through in bits. Uniball Air Micro, the five millimeter came through. In terms of the fine liners, it looks to me like the Stabilo sensor is trying to come through a bit. The two millimeter Pentel sign pen looks totally fine. And the troublemakers did come through uh, as you would expect. Overall, the performance here, at least with fountain pens, I think is actually very good, especially considering that this is a $8 notebook. So I'm pretty happy with that. You do have a lot of ghosting here. So that is definitely a downside with this paper. It is quite a smooth paper. It's nice to write on. I don't really like this dot grid page style. I was interested in it just because it was so wide and I don't like it. It's there's, if it was a five millimeter, I think it would be a lot more usable for me. This is just too wide, too spaced out. So not really my cup of tea in that regard. So what are my pros and cons for the Logical Prime Ring Notebook? I think the biggest pro here is the large variety of sizes and page styles that you get here. You're likely to find something that's gonna work well for you. 
The price is also pretty reasonable at eight or nine dollars for the A5 size like I have here. The paper is also quite fountain pen friendly. So overall, it's quite a, a nice notebook. In terms of cons though, I will say that the paper does exhibit a lot of ghosting. The rollerball performance was bad. It bled through, so I, I would not use rollerballs with this. I also thought that the dot grid that I have here, this 10 millimeter dot grid, was weird. I didn't like it and wouldn't recommend it. I mean, maybe you have a specific purpose where it would make sense for you, but I thought it was interesting, but I ultimately I didn't enjoy using it. And if you want a five millimeter dot grid, like a normal dot grid, they don't have it. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.